big lead up to the world super heavyweight title this is the world cruiserweight title at stake and on screen is William Noor, Vicky Nix in the corner and this is USA rules 12 two minute rounds and this is the prelude to the big one Tosca Petridis will be in the other corner and he has the support of everybody in Victoria everyone in Australia and Melbourne are out in force tonight here at this entertainment centre our fellow judges, John Pascusi, George Zachariah, Australia, when the bell tolls, stepping up for his second world championship match from Melbourne, Victoria, Mr. Joe Lanciana. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the International Sport Karate Association Junior Cruiserweight Championship of the World, light cruiserweight, in the blue corner, Proudly wearing the American colors from Lake Charles, Louisiana, United States of America, with Ricky Nix in the corner, scaling 83.6 kilograms. He's had 48 bouts, 38 wins, 10 losses, 18 by knockout. He is the undisputed Iska Mutai heavyweight champion of the United States, the raging. Cajuns, would you welcome from United States, William No. <laughs> In the red corner, with Paul Firefield, his mentor from Avondale Heights, Victoria, Australia, wearing gold trunks with white piping. 22 bouts, two losses, one draw. Holder, WKA and Iska Commonwealth, Australian and Professional Karate Council, Super Middleweight Champion of the World, three world titles. Can he add the fourth hit this evening? Scaling 83.6 kilograms, Tuska the Terminator had read. Well done. Howard Lee, your ring announcer there, and uh, not hard to see at the moment. Perhaps uh, Egg, who the crowd is here to support. And they're definitely here to support uh, Tosca Petridis, I believe. Well, Tosca, Tosca Petridis carrying the hopes of Australians, and Stan Longanides will be carrying the hopes of it a little bit later on when he comes up against Hosaki Sataki. William Noor, a formidable opponent, and of course, uh, he does have the law on his side. Yes, he does, actually. He's a criminal investigator. Of course, the... we're talking about uh, Ricky Nix, who's in his corner. That's, that's correct. He works for the Criminal Investigation Sheriff's Department in... Uh... Get your tongue around that one. Kalakasu, oh, Parry Kalik... Sheriff's Office, I think it is. Thank you for saving me, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do for the purpose of the exercise. Well, this is 12 two-minute rounds. We've seen the USA rules and the Victorian title earlier on tonight. Just refresh their memory. William caught 30 years uh, old, 6 foot uh, 3 inches, started karate at uh, 14, he's a uh, yeah, black belt at 17, studies judo, taekwondo, shotokan, and aikido. The three is at 27 years of age and holds three world titles, the PKC World Super Middleweight title, the WKA World Light Heavyweight title, the ISKA World Light Heavyweight title, and the boys are here to rumble. Madridis in the yellow shorts, or it is, in the American colors and pretty cagey leading leading with that left hook and Madridis has got that round leg kick working already the whole idea of course uh, this type of fighting now you can see the Madridis there already starting to work on that left leg of the American as we've said earlier in the night if you can start to do a bit of damage downstairs the hands invariably drop from upstairs and that's when you can come in and do the damage they definitely and the Tosca will definitely uh, keep kicking that leg you'll keep working on that leg and we've seen actually Tosca a little bit stronger a little bit more bulkier than when we last saw him here in Melbourne this is a cruiserweight title at stake. And has fought many preludes to world title fights here in Victoria and overseas. 
William Cole looks like his right leg is a little bit uh, hurt. I just saw him throw a kick out, caught uh, Tosca Petrudis on the left shin and actually saw his face. Oh, 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 oh. Petrudis has told the American I'm here for business. It's set for 12. Joe Lanciano puts the count on William Knorr. And I've said it before, we get time in a moment. No more! I want you to have a look at the Sanchez of Joe Lanciano. Very colourful character. And uh, I think the bell has saved the American. He might be able to catch that on replay very, very shortly. Round two coming up. Tosca Petrit is a good start. And as I said before, probably a little bit bulkier than when we've last seen him. Yeah, I, I, I'll agree with you there. He has had put on a little bit more weight. He's a, a lot healthier than he was in his last fight. But William Cole, very awkward fighter, I think. Um, his style's very, very different to what I've seen uh, in the past. A lot of the Americans, we can see, see Cole here now, lifting that left knee and the left leg up all the time, looking for the shin block to come across all the time. So, you know, he must be definitely worried with what Petridis can do in the uh, in the kicking region to the thigh. Again, just the referee was standing in the road there, but we can see the power that Petridis can generate. And you'll see him lift that left leg up all the time, looking for the block. Yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll definitely see uh, some hardcore action from Tosca Petridis' second round. I can feel it in the air. Yeah. That kicks a little bit low straight away. Petridis goes for the left leg. Oh, caught him, beautiful left flicking kick. Caught the American on the chin. Look how low the hands are. A poor. Now Petridis drops his. Drop the hands. And uh, again, inside leg kick. Looking for the spinning back kick. Wasn't there. The American can see it coming. Duck down and eat it. Tosca flicking out. Left hand over the top of the American. Caught Petridis on the jaw. Tosca finding range with the legs early. Continuing to work on that uh, American's left leg. Has got an enormous bruise on the inside of that uh, left thigh. So Petridis has caught him already underneath. Now works to the back of it. That front kick from the American. Looking for one for the midriff. And Petridis has caught him again on that left leg. Tend to work up underneath. Joe Lanciano asking the boys to break and step back. Shin block. Both fighters. The pace slow, just a fraction in this second round. The flick. American undeterred. wants to continue. Joe Lanciano has a look. Fight on, he says. Now that was a slip more than anything. The American covers up. The pride of the Yank certainly won't come out here to go home oh, after two oh, rounds. Oh, I want to have a look at this one on replay. Tosca Petrudis, a very angry man those last few seconds. Now that would be as sweet a flick kick you would ever see. I say the flick kick, here it comes, that's the first, the right hand comes under. Look how balanced he is. The American tries to push away. There it is. Soon as you drop the hands, we've been saying it all night, work on the work downstairs, or the top story will come down to you. These guys got to learn to keep their hands up. They've got to learn to keep their hands up, Rob. Well, I don't know what Ricky Nix would be telling, uh, telling his fighter in the corner at the moment, but surely he'd be telling him to keep the hands up, and they're working overtime on that thigh on that left thigh of, uh, of course and uh, you can see them there spending a bit of time with their fighter in the corner and I watch the boys come into uh, the stadium tonight and all the internationals were fairly confident they were bouncing around they were looking for a good night so far both internationals have been in trouble can the American come back still plenty of time still a long way to go and this will be What a fantastic win, what a fantastic...
fantastic win by Tavata. Christopher Cronus, who's back into the help, was the first man in the ring to say well done. And Tosca Petridis, you have done exceptionally well. A very, very proud Tosca. Now, the good news, or the bad news, Tosca Petridis, and he's bark, and he's... Uh, <laughs> looking down to us here at our commentary position. Well done, Tosca. I'm just looking at a few notes in front of me. Wants to move into conventional boxing early next year and has a bout against Jeff Hardy. And with those hands we've seen tonight, I think the hitman, I think, would be taking this fellow with a bit more caution. Let's have a look at it on replay. This is the blow that sent the American back home. Petridis on the left of screen. Nor looking for the block. Kick to the body, the upper portion. The hands up and wide. Over the top and perfectly balanced for treaties. And the lights haven't gone right out, but there was enough there to say I've had enough. Tosca Petridis centering the world cruiserweight title holder. And that's now three world titles. WKA, ISKA, PKK, and now this one on top of it. Let's go set a ring, Howard Lee. 12 seconds into the third round, claiming his fourth world title. This time, the Iska World Junior Cruiserweight Championship, Tosca Henry! Fourth world title, ISKA, Tosca Petridis. Just took the ISKA. Unbelievable performance. Just watching Ricky Nix uh, talking to Joe Lanciano, saying a uh, good decision. Well refereed. Now, we'll see what the American has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, come on, be very gracious with our very gallant Louisiana champion, William Noor. William, your first time in Australia. You've been a pretty good opponent this evening. He hits hard. Kicks hard, too. I give him everything. Tough fight, tough guy. Nothing I can say. I've been in Australia a week. I love it. Everybody's been great. I thank you all. Gracious loser, William Noor. And goes over and uh, lifts up the champion. And uh, Tosca Madridis has earned the respect of fighters right around the what world. What a gracious man with Ricky Nix, his mentor. Ricky, how would you rate Tosca Madridis on a world scale? You come from America, you know the scene there? How do you rate Tosca? I would say that's the reason why he's a world champion right now. Because it's tough. You people have been very kind to us, and we appreciate everything you've done. We've enjoyed our trip here to Australia, and we hope to come back again. God bless you. Those words from Rick Tosca, and Nick. Now let's just listen to uh, Tosca Madridis. You dedicated this fight to a very dear friend whom you lost a month ago. Yeah, that's right. A good friend of mine passed away. His name was John Lulich. This was to him. Second of all. I'd like to say thanks to all the people for coming. It's great fighting back home for a change. Third of all, I'd like to thank Sam and Robin from Spaghetti Graffiti. Thanks for your support, guys. Chris Cronus, Paul Five from my trainer, First Lanciana, Mustafa, from my physio, <laughs> and this lovely crowd. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we call Tosca the quiet achiever because he's a man who never demands or asks for headlines. But in two weeks' time, he's off to a Grand Prix series in Tokyo. Tosca, tell us about that. They're bringing the eight best light heavyweights in the world. Myself, Rob Carmen, Ernesto Hoos, the guy who beat me, Manson Gibson, um, Ty, Otakawa, the Japanese guy I was supposed to fight. Um, eight of the best in a round, round, round robin competition. Whoever wins is the undisputed light heavyweight champ. We wish you well, Tosca. Thank you very much. And Thanks, Chris. AA Petroleum.